Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Driving with John Chow. Recently I made a blog post about my driving episode where I talk about how to make money online with no money and in a video I explain how I did it. Well, wouldn't you know it, I read some of the comments and they were, how do you make money online with no money? Figure that one out, eh? But yeah, that's... Uh, I really don't know what to say to that, really, honest, to be honest with you, but I do want to talk a bit about it because uh, I think this is a big, big problem with people looking to make money online. They are looking for some kind of magic bullet. I mean, even before they watched my video, they typing in, how do I do it? I mean, why didn't you watch the video? And there was another question about, yeah, what CPA network and how do you do that? I mean, it was all explained in the video. Before you type your question, can you at least watch the video? <sighs> yeah, sometimes I, it's frustrating. And I get these kind of emails on a daily basis. There has been time where the answer is in my title. And the answer to the question is in the title. And I get a question asking, how is it done? I mean, did not did you not even bother to read the title? And the thing is, I realized that a lot of people, you know, they want instant result. They want it now. Uh, they don't want to read. They just all right. Let's just face it. They're just plain ass lazy. They're just plain ass lazy. They just want it. Give me my give me the money. I read your blog post. How come money's not coming in? I bought your ten dollar product. Where's the money? I bought this. I bought that. Where's the money? And unfortunately, that is, I guess that's human nature. And I'm here to tell you that, you know, if this is your attitude or this is what you're, this is what you're looking for, I, you hear a story all the time about people getting rich. Hey, affiliate marketing, the guy, I spent 1,000 bucks, I made 10. You hear those kinds of all the time. Or I did it, I made a blog post, it went viral, now I'm making thousands of bucks from it or whatever. If that's your attitude, then uh, I can, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but your chance of actually succeeding online and turning this into a real business, it isn't gonna work. It isn't gonna work. You see, and the reason for that is internet marketing, blogging, what I do, this is not a game. This is a real business. And that's really the theme of this whole talk and what I wanna get across. Internet marketing is not a game. It's not going to Vegas and gamble. Internet marketing is a real business, a legitimate business. My blog is fully incorporated. It has a business license. It has its own bank account. It has its own accountant. It has staff writers. It has server admin. It's a full-blown business. And if you want to build a successful business, that's how you got to treat it. And you, you can't treat it as, oh, I'm going to start a blog and uh, write the blog post and then money's going to come gushing in because I see that's what John Chow does. That's not all I do. <laughs> okay, that's not all I do. Right. Treat this as a business. Too many people look at internet marketing as a game. If you want to play games, then go to Vegas, go to the slot machine or the crap table and gamble away. But if you want to build a real business, and you want to use internet marketing. Internet marketing is a legitimate way to build a real business. It's probably the kind, and it's probably the best business you can build. I mean, all, look, you look at all the advantages, the low startup cost, the fact that you can run it from anywhere in the world. I mean, the fact that I'm just driving and I'm actually doing my business. Like, you, you can't beat it when you compare it to the typical business and you compare it to an internet, internet marketing business totally, totally different. The advantages to me outweighs all the disadvantages. The problem is because the barriers of entry for internet marketing is so low, like my blog costs 10 bucks for the domain name. That's how much, that's how much it costs to my blog, $10, 10 bucks. My YouTube channel, well, I have, to this very day, I spend zero bucks on my YouTube channel, making a thousand bucks a month, right? So, but because of this low, low, low barriers of entry, like next to nothing, 
a lot of people don't treat their internet marketing business as a real business. They think, oh, I got almost nothing invested into it. So it's the old easy in, easy out. Because it costs you nothing to get in, you don't take it seriously, so therefore you go, all right, I'll just give this a try, you know, if it doesn't work, then I'm out 10 bucks, 20 bucks, I'm out 100 bucks, or whatever, what, out a very, very small amount that you're not scared of losing. But because of that, you don't have the same urgency or same seriousness as you would if you were to start a legitimate business. Like, let's just say, I'm gonna start a subway for $100,000. Now, let's look at this way. A Subway franchisee who just invested 100,000 bucks in his business, he's gonna take a lot more seriously than a person who spent 10 bucks to start a blog. Let's just face it, that's, that's, gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be. But the thing is, my internet business makes more than a Subway, and I started for 10 bucks. And the reason for that is because I treat it with the same seriousness as a Subway franchisee who's invested $100,000. So if you were to think in your mind that I just invested, I just invested a hundred grand into my internet business, ask yourself, if I invested a hundred thousand dollars into my internet business, would I be running it this way? And if the answer is no, then you better change it. Right? You gotta change it. Treat it this like a real business. And real business means exactly that. It runs by itself. It does not require you to be there. Real business makes money when you're not there. A real business is serious business. It's not a game. Right? So keep that in mind. Real business requires real commitment and it requires commitment and seriousness on your part. So whenever I see comments like, that's answered in the video, how do you do that? And when I said it in the video, I know, A, those guys, they're not serious. They're not serious, they're looking for the magic bullet. There's no magic bullet in this business. This business is actually, like a, some, of my previous, some of my previous video, this business is actually very, very simple. It's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. If you want to learn it, it's not hard to learn. It's actually quite simple to learn. It requires you to actually take this stuff seriously. So please, the next time uh, you ask me a question, at the very least, read the whole blog post and watch the video before you type in your question. Because right? I'm looking to work with serious people, not looking for the person looking for the magic bullet. It's John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you for listening. If you like what I just said, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.